incredible. By themselves, people are such frail things. That is why, in times of calamity, they pray for a ship to save. The era, later known as the Age of Chaos, gave birth to a new shepherd. This is his story. Queers and weird, man. Not like queers and like, hey! Hi, welcome back to King Just Play Games. Hi, everybody. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we just got down to the human world and watched that fucking awesome opening sequence. Oh, I mean, pooping. Yes. We are trying to limit the swears. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, pooping. we have been a little bit better about it this playthrough. Yeah, well, there's not really... The dicks and poop. There's no real time for well, it. Well, I mean, really. you've said it like four times now, so clearly there's a plenty of time. It, it was you that was telling me about um, someone asking to see some of our footage, right? For like their kindergarten class or some. Maybe it was Nick? Maybe it was Nick. Oh, what? that'd be awkward. Yeah, uh, Nick, Nick, while we were recording um, the latest uh, Curious Expedition. Which you guys should check out when you get a chance. Do it. Below. It actually was pretty good. Um, he was telling me about how his his sister or someone was asking to see some of her footage because they wanted to talk about like um, I don't know YouTubers or like uh, some kids that wanted to start YouTube channels. And Nick was going to they were going to use Nick's Nick's participation on this channel as a good example for something. And he was like, "Are there any PG episodes you guys have?" And I was like, "Well." Is the there F word some, PG? We, we cuss a lot, and, you know, uh, we try to not, but it happens. Honestly, well, yeah. But it's no, not it's, so bad, right? I, I, My goal, right, with these, with, with our content is that if we ever do cuss or if we're vulgar, hopefully it's in good humor and it's not mm. annoying. Hey, you know what this, um, that part of the map could have used? Mm. Like an enemy or two? Um, I... I sort of disagree because this next area is going to have a lot of enemies. Okay. I think this area was nice in the sense that loot. 
it it allows us to kind of get a feel of exploring. This yeah. is the first zone we're in where um, we could just go anywhere, right? Like we have this full map at our disposal and it's like, oh man, I have so many things to explore. Mm -hmm. So it kind of helps instill the behavior True. in the player that they should explore. They should look for treasure because if they look for it, they'll find it. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something that's important for the level design for the rest of the game. Um, now, we get to be introduced to both of those worlds, right? Where there are monsters and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I actually loot. kind of like it. Plus, it's yeah, a little bit you. of a friendly boost because we're this is our first time in the world below, so they're going to give us a couple of those uh, valuables to up certain stats and go, so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh, what I do like is that off the bat, uh, it doesn't limit where you can go on the map. If you look at the mini-map, there are several symbols that show up. Uh, I always think it's kind of nice whenever a game's like, hey, here's your main objective. There are other things in this world, though. Keep that in mind. Okay, this snake really doesn't like me. Uh, so, none of the snakes like you right now. They're oh, all like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Look at that white-haired guy. <laughs> Let's eat him. And when they do start us into battles, ah! they start us off uh, nice oh, no. and big. Oh, no, oh, no, no, what no, no, kind no, of no. warrior? I'm just running around in circles. <laughs> you are so much help, Kujo. Thank you for your hard work. You know, work. if I was playing right now, Chris, I would be helpful. <laughs> well, just wait till we get our third third person in the party, then uh, then you can prove my help prove your worth. <laughs> I do like that for a large amount of that battle. You just see me running around in circles, even in the background, like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna touch that snake. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Go away. One thing, I'm a little disappointed. Right One thing I'm a little disappointed, though, is that we don't start off... Uh, I can actually show you, too. Um, we don't start off with a lot of combos, right? All I have is my basic, like, hit yeah. no, nothing on the joystick and you get a combo. What I do like about the combos, though, because isn't it the more you use the combos... They unlock new arts. Not so much in this one. No! I, I think it might be that way with Marsh... Or with the, um... Heavenly, you know, heavenly. Uh, what are these called? Hidden arts. Um, so, like right now, everything is going to do the heavenly torrent, and I believe, yeah, it records the number of times used. And as I use it more often, I'm going to get more stars or more experience right. in that one. Then, then that will unlock more Which of those. I love that tool. Yes. I love it. Now, this is something that's very different about um, this game in comparison to like Symphonia is. Normally, there's just a base attack in Symphonia, and then you you merge it with yeah, the special art. With, with, with I think they just called it the arts, arts in, in yeah, the other games. So. Now we have the martial arts, which are your basic attack, but they still consume SP. Um, and the interesting thing about that is it sort of makes the defending system in this game necessary. Yeah. You, you basically have to defend if you want to recover SP. There are other ways of doing it, um, but I, I think it, it helps encourage the player to kind of utilize that system a little bit more early game. It gives it a, it gives the defensive system a reason to be there, not just, you know, for those who are like, oh, I've checked my phone, I'm going to defend, give me a second, you know? Right, it, and it, I think it sort of helps, oh, it's helping me learn how to target, Oop. Camera's not always the greatest in the battle system, but I do think that um, they do a better job at trying to help prevent the players just from spamming buttons. Yeah, it doesn't—it doesn't do a perfect job, right? And I think these games sort of—they're not hurt by the spamming behaviors, right? Um, I think it still allows players to spam and, and moderately, moderately succeed. Mm -hmm. um, at least until you get to the point where you're in more difficult battles, mm -hmm. and suddenly you have more reason to think about what attacks you're actually using, and then you spam less. Yeah. Mm, that's an interesting thought. <laughs> now I really feel like I'm actually in another world. It's great to have a field trip and all, but try not to get us lost, please. <laughs> we'll be just fine. I got us a map. Oh, you mean the one that's in the Celestial Record? It's kind of old, though. I'll probably need to redraw parts of it as we go along. It'd be interesting if they made you have to draw the map if they're like... I mean, they're basically explaining... So you have a world map which basically shows you regions, but you don't know what's in those regions because it's an ancient map. Right, yeah. and now it's time to see what's transformed. <laughs> I do really like the comment he made about... Um, <laughs> well, I really do feel like I'm in another world. Really? Why is that? Well, I don't feel like if I'm sleepwalking, I'll fall into the endless abyss of sky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh. Caravan of people. Movie. 
Let's get that puppy on our party. Humans! Humans everywhere! Oh my yeah, I god! Feel like, I feel like you just had the biggest. Yo, 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 I'd be like, do you see the friend behind me? And they'd be like, no. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Agil, the captain. She's Rose. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. Nice to meet you too. You finally learned how not to be a creeper. Shut it. That probably didn't help at all. Oh, hey. So if you're a traveling caravan, where are you traveling to? <laughs> We're going all over the world. Wow. We're protected by a free trade treaty, meaning we have a free pass to pretty much go anywhere we please. Sure, we get asked to smuggle all sorts of crap, but for us, trust is first and foremost. Dishonorable trade is fine for dishonorable people, but we do things our own way. And we're damn proud of it. This must be the famed capitalism of humans. Sure seems that way. Yeah. We're planning to stay in Lady Lake for a while. If you need anything, just give us a holler. Yeah. We will. Thanks. Though they really ought to focus on their cart before drumming out business. I know we didn't talk about it earlier, but um, wasn't there a thing with the Lady of the Lake where there's a sword there the that is hard to pull out? When she got back to the capital, I would have loved to see the so-called Princess Knight for myself. Princess Alicia, huh? Phew. Sounds like she made it back safe. Glad to hear that Fox Freak didn't catch up to her. But still, to think that she was royalty. No kidding, a straight up princess? A princess, a knight, and she straight up gangsta mole like. Yeah, right, right now, like, there'd be a good time to bring in, like, glasses on to us. <laughs> so, on to uh, McLeo and be like, she's straight up OG, man. <laughs> That's original gangster, in case you're wondering, Cujo. Thank you, I needed that. So, so, um... So it's interesting to find out that Alicia is a princess. Right? A princess knight. A princess yes. knight who explores dungeons. I kind of like that, but maybe that explains the properness. I don't think it explains the fact the that she, like... Sure. Take care of it now. isn't a strong enough female lead. Right, you would think as a princess she would probably be even more of a commander. Hey everyone. Right? Yeah. Because I feel like you want to become a knight and a dungeon thing to like disobey your father if we're talking about this. I feel like if we're talking about this time period, the king has final say. Yeah. yeah. And so this would be a great way to be... But I don't know, I'm not, I haven't gotten this far. You would know a little more since you've done more of the playing... Yeah. Also, the the conversation with this lady is actually pretty important because it establishes um, a lot about how this world works. Yeah. The fact that they have a free trade uh, treaty, and basically they... allowing them to move anywhere they want, no matter the situation, that's pretty big. And I mean, as a player, I can see that and recognize, like, hey, that's probably going to be an important story element later on, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Also, yeah, why is confetti just falling everywhere? Is hey. anyone going to talk about this? There's just confetti. Well, why is there paper falling? You know what? I just finished waiting, going, oh, wow. In my head going, wow, this place is really pretty. And then Chris happened. Here's the thing. Maybe... Oh, there's so much confetti. Maybe when what rich people are all gathered in one area, instead of rain or snow, confetti falls. <laughs> Because it's always, messed up world. it's always happy to be rich. I just and if you're so poor, you get the crummy like shit. That's fair. Good That's call. fair. Let's gather so we go to like their like you know their labor town or to their like trade post. It's gonna be like lightning. It's just everywhere, man. As a designer, I kind of look at this and I go, Why? Oh, Why? People are saying people are continuing to talk about the sword pulling. Oh yes, there's a sword and an altar that nobody can pull. So so talking about the confetti, not to be weird, but. Um, the confetti is probably here to establish a mood for the environment. Mm -hmm. um, I know it seems ridiculous, right? But it, it does its job, right? It feels very festival, yeah. very cheery. Like, oh, there's good uh, things yeah. happening. I'm sure when you come back later, it's going to be like raining fire because all the confetti caught on fire. And they're like, oh, now bad things are happening. Understand now, child. No matter how tough things get, stealing is stealing. There you go. It's still some values. Wow. <laughs> Now they're being vulgar. Uh, Dang. <laughs> I like farts. That kid needs to check himself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Lest go he cut wreck a himself. Where's that kid? I'm gonna fucking. You know we said anyway, that once. Anyway, we'll find that kid 
Well, we probably won't. We probably won't. Next time <laughs> on Game Devs Play Games, oh, we'll also dang. be exploring more of Lady Lake because there are big story elements that really got revealed just by walking in this city. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've got some good stuff coming. And so Princess Alicia. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye. It's raining men. Dicks. Hallelujah. Dicks. That's raining men. D -d -d Dicks. Dicks. <laughs> Hey everyone, I want to talk about something new we're going to be trying on the show, and it's basically just called Question of the Day. Uh, we're going to be prompting a question in the comments section in each video, uh, something related to the contents of that video, and we'd love to hear some of your thoughts about the design subjects that we bring up. So, uh, we hope that everyone participates, and uh, we'll see you in the comments section.